Hello everyone and welcome to Downtown's Tech and hope you all are well. Today is another episode of AMD. We've got Navi GPU performance and leaks, we're having a quick insight into Zen 3 and also it's AMD's 50th anniversary. So let's roll that intro and get straight on into it. So we are starting to receive some more leaks of AMD Navi GPUs. The GPU is stated to be somewhere between the Vega 56 and the GTX 1080 and at a price point of $259. This would make it cheaper than Nvidia's GTX 1660 Ti. Navi is rumoured to have a TDP of 150 watts, 8GB of GDDR6 offering a bandwidth of 410GB over a 256-bit memory bus, putting AMD's GDDR6 speeds at 12.8GB a second, compared to the availability of Nvidia speeds of 12, 14 and 16GB a second. Navi is said to use the next generation of AMD's drawstream binning rasterizer and ship with next generation geometry, which will boost to over 1.8GHz, also offering a 2 times increase in L1 cache and 3.76 kilobytes of L2 cache. With these specs and delivering it for $259 would be absolutely exceptional to gamers. However, these are just leaks, so do take it with a pinch of salt. So moving on to AMD Zen 3 then, and it looks like they will use the new silicon fabrication from TSMC. Now currently the Zen 2 processors are built on the deep ultraviolet process for the 7 nanometer node. AMD did make it clear that they wouldn't drag out DUV over more than one microarchitecture. So the new fabrication of Zen 3 7nm Plus could be designed on the extreme ultraviolet silicon. Now, this would be an increase in transistor densities of 20%, reduce the power consumption by 10% at the same operational workloads and performance improvements over Zen 2. And Zen 3 will debut in 2020. So on May the 1st, we're going to be celebrating 50 years of AMD, and they're opening up their Merkham house in Canada from 3.30pm to 7pm no invite needed, and we'll have demos on leading edge technologies on display. Now, they are also going to be releasing some special edition products. We have one of AMD's biggest partners, Sapphire, releasing a Nitro Plus Radiant RX 590 in gold, which looks great in any system, if that's your kind of style, for $275. Gigabyte are also jumping on board with a 50th anniversary edition of the X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi, and AMD will also be releasing a Ryzen 7 2700X CPU for $340. $45 more than the current one with the same Wraith Prism cooler, however there are no clock speeds present. So Intel did this last year with the Core i7-8086K to celebrate their 40th anniversary. Now the chip did come with special tuning that pushed the clock frequencies up to 5GHz and a signed certificate. Now AMD may do something similar, however we haven't seen the Ryzen 2700X special edition clock speed so probably not too much dissimilar there but may come in a commemorative package or engraving on the chip and would assume a certificate enclosed may be signed by Dr Lisa Su herself. However that's it all for me today guys, if you did like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that bell icon for more notifications from myself and I shall see you all in the next video.